Top 15 Contaminated Fish You Shouldn't Be Eating It used to be that eating seafood. And fish regularly was a pretty safe nutritional bet. Fish was packed with protein. Healthy menounsaturated saturated fats, omega-3 fatty acids. And all those good things read more about the benefits of fish oil. Unfortunately, due to our continued poisoning of the environment and the Fukushima power plant meltdown, many fish are now loaded with unsafe levels of mercury and radiation. All fish, every single fish on this planet, have some level of mercury. However, some have much higher levels than others. Take a look at our list of the top 15 most contaminated fish on the market today. Avoid eating these or eat them in very small quantities. Unless you are an expectant mother, in which case, avoid these fish entirely. However, we will list the best fish to eat at the end of this video, too. So keep watching. 1. Shark This means any type of meat-eating shark such as longfin mako, shortfin mako, black dip, or common thresher shark because sharks are at or near the top of the food chain. They consume other types of fish as their main source of food. Mercury and contaminants in the fish they eat accumulate in the bodies of sharks. It's ironic that many people eat shark products such as soups, health drinks, pill supplements, and even shark steaks, believing that shark is a healthy meat. In fact, this terrible misconception is so prevalent that one of the world's largest insurance companies added shark steaks well at the famous taste of Chicago Food Fest as one of their recommendations as a healthy food. If you read the numerous studies available on this subject, there is absolutely no scientific evidence that eating sharks or taking supplements in any way will provide any medicinal benefits whatsoever. 2. Swordfish This is another very large fish that eats other contaminated fish. As their natural diet, although swordfish is hugely popular, this beautiful tropical fish has been found to contain some of the highest levels of mercury among all larger-sized edible fish. These fish contain high levels of a very strong neurotoxin called methylmercury. This toxin can easily cross the placenta in pregnant women and has the potential to damage the nervous system of the unborn fetus. Recent studies have shown that excessively high blood levels of mercury can be traced to the high or frequent consumption of swordfish. One study was performed in San Francisco and involved 123 subjects who eat 30 different types of fish. Those with frequent consumption of swordfish had the highest blood mercury levels that were over and above the maximum amount recommended by the National Academy of Sciences as well as the United States Environmental Protection Agency. 3. King Mackerel This voracious predator is definitely on the no-no list. Even though the Florida Department of Health Secretary Robert G. Brooks believes that it's virtually impossible to get enough mercury from this fish because they are caught far out in the ocean. He's wrong. Mercury builds up in the body. The findings are consistent and king mackerel contain high levels of mercury. Researchers suspect that mercury, which comes mainly from industrial sources such as waste incinerators, the manufacturing of chlorine and coal plants, is being spread through the air and eventually ends up in the water. The longer the lifespan of the fish, as well as the larger it grows, the more mercury that fish will accumulate in their lifetime. King mackerel have a migratory path that runs from South Florida to North Carolina. King mackerel, sometimes called kingfish, are a common part of sport fishing. Although some authorities feel that it's safe to eat this fish if it's less than 33 inches long and weighs 10 pounds or less. 4. Tilefish There are a great variety of this species of fish, and the EPA makes no distinction between them. So when they warn people, especially small children, women and pregnant women, to avoid eating it, you better just skip all varieties to be safe. Atlantic tilefish 
a yummy predator that ranges from the Gulf of Mexico to New England, appears to be okay. But unless you know for certain exactly which species you are eating, you are better off just writing this one off. Tilefish. Despite the warnings about excessive mercury contamination, is often seen on restaurant menus. Tilefish are popular because it's a mild tasting. White meat fish that has a flavor similar to crabs or lobsters and tends to be a little sweet. Today we stop here to be continued. Follow the channel to see the next top 15 contaminated fish you shouldn't be eating.